And then if you get the headset, you're now able to fully immerse yourself in it. So that's the kind of thing that is that context gap that I believe exists before we actually have mass market adoption of virtual experience. There's a context gap that has to be filled by something that works without headsets. And that's been the cognitive dissonance in the business because so much money has gone into the headset manufacturers into getting that out there that there's a blind spot and wait, how, how does Joe Sixpack out in the street out here, why does he think he needs VR or virtual experience to change his life, to make it better, to connect with people, to play? Because the thing that happens for me when I go into web VR, I start, I become a child. I become someone who's playing an environment and I can, you know, I, I open a link and suddenly I'm into another environment. And then I go into another, I, I've stayed in web VR much longer than I've stayed in any other VR demo. One of the things we're in right now is what I call the demo ghetto because we're in a ghetto of demos that don't go anywhere because they're not creating mass market adoption. We're playing to our own room in the virtual, in the virtual industry. We have to play to the mass market. And, the, and brands, I believe, have the biggest opportunity of any other players to actually be that bridge to virtual experience. And I believe that by creating that bridge, by doing the investment in creating that bridge, you will position yourself as with a tent pole in, in literally what I believe will be a new economic, economic sector, which is, I call it the world building economy. Because the world building economy, much like what Tongle is doing with all the cr young creatives all over the world that they engage, will be something that creatives everywhere will learn an expertise set on. And then through companies like Tongle, through, through the ability to interact with brands, will start creating a, literally a new economic sector around world building. I don't know much that's more exciting than that because it literally creates an entirely new medium, a new environment. So again, it's not just about looking around. That's not enough. It's gotta be about creating a virtual experience that transforms people's lives, that connects them to brands, that connects them to each other. And that's the great hope of virtual reality as a medium. There's just a few things we have to address. Stop playing to our own room so much and start playing to the mass market that really wants to know about this and give them something that works now, which is why I'm very, very bullish on web VR and the kinds of things that Sam and Lou are doing, which I think are just mind bending. Thank you very much. Any questions? I, I have